Thank you so much, Spirit. I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence here. All right. So now we're hopping into the reading for Pisces. The overall energy for you, Pisces, is judgment. Judgment. Please keep in mind that for all the readings, um, I talked about in another video some of the things, some of the energy that's going to be surrounding your reading. Okay, I'm going to put that clip into every video because I want you guys to understand it. I'm not going to repeat it because this will be too long if I do. Please excuse me, you guys, because I am. I have a head cold, so I'm nasal. I might have to pause, blow my nose, all types of stuff. Stuff might even happen where I can't control it. But please forgive me. But okay, so the first part that wound up coming out for you guys, Pisces, is the Four of Wands. In the reverse, this usually talks about an increase of happiness in the home, okay? But since this is a general reading, I do want to talk about the fact that it can also indicate that somebody is not happy in a relationship. There could be upset in the home, okay? Now, <clears throat> I will have to clarify Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I had to go like blow my nose and stuff like that. But anyway, <clears throat> hopefully y'all can hear me. So with this four of wands energy, when I was meditating on it, I really got the vibe that yes, it can mean that some happiness, like a lot of joy is going to come, but I didn't feel that. I feel like with the judgment card being the overall energy, there could be getting ready to be, um, if there's an ending to a living arrangement where there could be two people living together in a committed union or just living in a, in a, in a, a union, you know, a relationship or a foundation is changing. Okay. So that's the five I got with that. Let's go ahead and clarify. The next card that came out is the King of Wands. So I feel as though there's a King of Wands who has actually got to make a decision about his household. Okay. So, and the way that it's going to come is through an awakening because that's the other thing that the judgment card can mean. It can mean that there is an awakening happening, okay? And if it's not that there's an awakening, and also I wanted to tell you guys, I'm so sorry, I'm late as hell. This is for the week of March 8th through the 15th. But long story short, there's a decision that an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius male or female, it can be reversed, needs to make about the home life, the home situation, a relationship where people are living together or they may not be currently living together, okay? And it is because of a spiritual connection that could have a child attached to it. I say that because this is, I'm literally hearing the ties that bind here with this card. If you can look, there's a male and a female. There's an angel, like more than likely the angel Gabriel blowing a trumpet. And then there's a little, there's another angel that's a, that's holding them together, that's bringing them together, okay? But that little younger angel is the angel that I saw as a child. Spirit, why is this four of wands in reverse for Pisces? So there could be a lot. There's a lot of fire energy here. That's a lot of action that's needed to be taken at this time. And I also feel like it could be a fire sign who's got Pisces in their chart. Four of wands in reverse being clarified at this time by the eight of swords. Somebody's having a hard time with this. Somebody's all in their head behind this. Somebody could be feeling like they're powerless. Knight of Pentacles, they're taking their precious time. Uh, the Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. And the Knight of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy, okay? Knight of Pentacles, so first of all, what I'm getting is somebody is taking their time or they're in their head right now just thinking about ways that they can manifest an offering, okay? That it's going to be slow. It could be slow and steady. They can, I'm literally hearing somebody's literally dragging their feet about making this offer. I also feel that it's because somebody understands and somebody knows that it's almost, I'm hearing that one house is going to be 
upset and overturned in order for another one to be built. Last but not least, we have the victory card with the Six of Wands. So it looks like there's going to be some elevation, some form of victory here. Fear, why is the victory card here? It's just so I can be clear before we move on. Okay, there's the Six of Swords showing up here. I really feel like this is because somebody could be at a distance here with this card. It's going to be, it's going to bring peace. Remember how I was saying there could be some upsets in a house. If it's not, it's about to be, the house is about to be turned upside down. But the reason that it's happening is honestly for spiritual elevation, for victory, and for peace. Bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands. It's just making me feel like it's because of a divine union. Because remember, the second card is the King of Wands energy. I'm going to put that Queen of Wands down because I really feel as though it's significant. There's a divine union here that's being called back together. Like I said, two people could be at, di at a distance. The Queen of Wands energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female energy, okay? This person could also have air in her chart as well. Fear, why is the King of Wands here? What is this decision in regards to? I do feel like it's in regards to a relationship, a committed union where they, there was a home being shared. So I kind of don't like the way all of this fell. But I feel like it's all important. So we're going to talk about this. Four cards just fell out. The King of Swords, the Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. And I really feel as though the King of Swords is like the last card. So I'm going to start going from this way to the King of Swords. So there has been some reflection going on. There has been a pause. There has been this break. In a connection, I feel that the reason that the break has been here is because, I mean, they're trying to reflect. They're trying to figure out if, you know, do I want to continue investing in this connection? Is my investment yielding what I want it to? I feel as though somebody could be waiting on something, Pisces. This is Capricorn towards Virgo energy with that seven of pentacles. The three of wands, I feel as though Somebody could be waiting on some form of business or enterprise. Someone could be waiting to receive word about an investment. This could have something to do with a contract. I don't really know why I'm hearing that, but that's what I heard. We've got the nine of cups here. Self-love to me. Also, wish fulfillment, abundance. King of Swords is about taking control to me. It's about a lot being very strategic. Could also be about being cold and unemotional, but I don't think so. I just feel like this King of Swords could be getting ready to divorce someone or they could be getting ready to cut off a another connection because they want love they want their love and I feel like their love could be with a Leo woman so that's going to be the end of this reading for Pisces but before I go I just want to put both of these cards together because the message that I feel like has come out now as a direct result of clarifying is that there is a divine masculine energy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or could be Pisces operating in this energy. But this person had to develop confidence. This person really had to think about what they wanted. They had to think about what makes them sincerely happy, what brings them peace. And not even just what, but who. To be quite honest, there could be nothing going wrong in the other connection. It can be smooth, too. But there's something that is not okay with this male energy. And 
that I feel is going to come out. It's going to be made clear. Or there is another union where the time is up on that union. They're not supposed to be together anymore. Hence the judgment card. Or there's a spiritual awakening, a shift that's happening. And this person is not going to be able to remain the same. You're not going to be able to remain in this same energy of, I'm just going to stay in this situation just because I'm comfortable. No, I know what I want now. I know what I've been missing now. That's the end of this reading at this time. Pisces, I hope something resonated um, with you guys. If it didn't, you can book a personal reading. If it did, you can still book your private reading to go a little bit more in depth with this. But yeah, that's the reading for Pisces. Peace, love, light, and darkness working in harmony and balance with one another. This has been the Pretty Coach Oracles, and I'm signing out. Bye, you guys.